today uh, it's a special day. I'm here with Mike. Uh, Mike, tell me, what are you going to have me doing today? So we're going to do a few little different things with you. I do what's called FST, fascial stretch therapy. So what fascia is, it's like your sausage wrap around your muscles. As a quick, quick right, dirty right. Uh, so say if your, if your hip is tight, the fascia, it can affect your shoulder. Or if your shoulder's tight, it can affect your hip on this side and vice versa, right? So it can really kind of scrub your movement patterns if you if it's tight. Right. So we're going to put you through today a few movements just to see what is tight. If something is tight, nothing might be tight and you might be superhuman. I, I doubt uh, it. So what's the uh, first thing we're doing here? First thing I'm going to do is you're gonna, we're going to see how your squat is. So okay. I'm going to get you to pop your shoes off. And then we're just going to do a squat and I just want you to stand right in front of me. And you're going to bring your feet about hip wide apart and bring your feet so they're nice and straight. So your toes are good. I want you to squat four times to the front and then turn to the side and squat four times. We're looking for all the bad stuff. Right. So you're just going to squat down and hold down like and then come back out. I'm just going to watch three more times, right? Good. See, good. I see your problems already. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> The first thing we're going to do, so sometimes when people are pitching forward, your upper body, they feel a little tight at the bottom a little bit of your squat, a little bit. Feels a little bit kind of hard keeping your chest up a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So this is a perfect thing for you to do. When people are pitching forward, it's because they have tight ankles. And, a, and this is an easy way to kind of loosen up your calves and free up your ankle mobility. All right? right. So this is really, this is actually really kind of cool. So if I, I have pretty tight calves. So if I pull my toes up like this, you can see my feet are basically at the same angle. Right. And I'm just going to take two minutes. Not even. I'm just going to roll up and down three times here. Turn to the side three times. Go in here, roll three times. Quick down by the Achilles right quick. Actually, it feels really good for some reason in there. You can stay in there all day. And you're going to go up and back and forth a couple more times. And literally, I'll be able to increase my ankle mobility like that. I should be way easier for me to squat. And it's literally that easy, if you know what you're doing, to increase your ankle mobility in like two minutes. So you're gonna come in and have a seat. So we'll get you to bring your feet right together. And then you're gonna to try to pull your toes up towards you as far as you can go. So this one actually has better ankle mobility, but you can see they're fairly even, right? All right. So we're gonna get you to plant right in the middle of your leg. Good. And we're gonna roll up and down, way kind of, yep. Just keep my legs straight, huh? Yeah, and we're gonna get you to relax your toes too, relax your feet. Good. Now grab the ball, bring your feet close together again, right beside each other, pull your toes up. Oh, yeah. All right, you'll see, all right. So the next thing I wanted to do with you is put you on my torture table. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little hip stretch, right? So if your butt is really tight a lot of the time, if you're doing a lot of lower body stuff, I'm sure Devin has you doing lots of kind of crazy sprints and runs and tire flips and all that kind of jazz, all right? That fun stuff. So your butt is probably fairly tight. Everybody's butt is fairly tight. So we're gonna have to throw you on the table and give you a stretch. So I can see right now this leg is about a thumb width shorter. All right, we're gonna see if we can make you uh, even more taller right. than you already are. So just take a big breath in and nice and relaxed, and then big breath out. Right? So what I just did with you with lacrosse ball, it's like self myofascial release, right? Yep. So what this is called, it's called fascial stretch therapy. So basically you think of your butt like an onion, where I'm gonna be kind of peeling away layers as I kind of go through the stretch, and getting kind of deeper and deeper. That sounds weird, getting deeper and deeper into your really butt. Weird. Yeah, we're gonna keep all our clothes on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're just, just peeling kind of the fascial layers and kind of going deeper and deeper as we go into the stretch. Uh, so FST, this is good for, like if you were, if you were doing a leg day next, this would be perfect. Your, mo your, you'd be all, your hips would be all mobile, your ankle mobility would be good. But it would also be good to do it after. So you can use FST for prep and recovery, right? So do you ever have any tightness up into your neck through your traps or any of that kind of stuff oh, you end yeah, up there? Yeah. Here's the thing, man. I got two young kids, and I'm doing a lot of picking them up, yeah, carrying yeah, yeah. them around, doing all this kind of stuff. Of this for like hours at a time. Yeah. So yeah, up here, all up there. A mess. You're gonna love this one. Awesome. Right. So fighting the sitting disease. That's kind of what I do in there. Sitting down, everything just gets tight and weak. So with all this, with all the fascial stretch therapy and all the trigger point release, it just helps release all those muscles. Then you start using muscles that you should be using instead of muscles that you shouldn't be using, right? So if you're losing muscles, like your traps are tight all the time. You're gonna start pushing with your joints instead of pushing with your muscles, then you're gonna hurt yourself, and then you're gonna be out of the gym again, right? So just fighting that sitting disease, like I said, just helping people get more active, rele releasing all the tightness from sitting all day, kind of thing, right? Okay, so my session with Mike was awesome. I felt great after, I mean, my legs, my shoulders, I felt so loosey-goosey, it was really nice. Uh, I'm usually pretty tight, I don't really stretch much, uh, so doing something like that was really refreshing uh, and it kind of opened my eyes to the possibilities and I think it's something I definitely like to, to start doing, especially after a workout, uh, just to help stretch out and maybe 
um, mitigate the soreness that I feel after I'm done a really good workout. So Mike, awesome.